Today we are going to try out the Kirkland European Cookie Collection Container. This box is heavy, big, all the above. There is a key to this on the back. So these are all the cookies and we'll try a bite of each. I don't know how much this was because this was a gift. There is two layers. Those are all the cookies. So these are the same. Put that right there. Oh, inside is this too. So let's try each one. We will start with the one that says uh, first cream supreme, a pastry shell filled with cocoa cream accented with crispy pastry. Right there. So it's this one right here. Pretty thick. It's okay. I give it like a seven out of 10. It's all right. It's tasty. Next we're gonna have the Cocoa Crisp. This is a cream filled wafer covered in Belgian milk chocolate and Belgian white drizzle. It's a little better. I'd say it's like an eight out of 10. You don't wanna start tasting the same because Belgian chocolate doesn't really change in flavor. The next one is a Sweetheart. It's a hazelnut biscuit covered in Belgian milk chocolate with white chocolate drizzle. A seven out of 10. It's good, but not, you know, there's no after flavor, which is great. Next, we're gonna have the cocoa leaf. It's a pastry coated in Belgian milk chocolate with white drizzle. That's eight out of 10, because it's chocolate. Next one is the Night Star, a delicious pastry dipped in semi-sweet Belgian chocolate. That's like an 8 out of 10. That's pretty good too. Next one is Caramel Supreme, caramel pastry covered in Belgian milk chocolate. That was better. 8.5 8 out of 10. That one, I didn't even taste the caramel. I don't know. This one is the Blanc Sensation with semi-sweet chocolate. A pastry covered in Belgian white chocolate with semi-sweet chocolate drizzle. White cookie. I mean, it's good. 8.5 out of 10. It's good. This one is Starlight, indulgent Belgian semi-sweet and white chocolate over butter shortbread. The shortbread makes it a lot better. Nine out of ten. This one is Coco Harlequin, a generous layer of Belgian milk chocolate over a delicious butter cookie shortbread. I hope a little more because it's even extra crispy, but I think nine point five out of ten. The shortbread's really good. Let's start with this one. Is the speculous moment. This is a biscuit with speculous fill, cream filled with a white coating and caramelized uh, sugar. Nine out of ten. It's a little too gingery for me. I'd say like a six out of ten. The next one is mocha milk. It looks kind of like the crisp, but the mocha milk is a Belgian milk chocolate and semi-sweet Belgian chocolate drizzle over a delicious cookie. It's okay, there's this little a hint of coffee. I'm gonna say it's like a six out of 10. The next one is Butter Rose, a buttery shortbread dipped in semi-sweet Belgian chocolate. It's okay. I'd say that's like a seven out of 10. This next one is a cream wafer roll, a crispy wafer filled with coke chocolate cream. That one's really good. I give it like a nine out of 10, that's good. This next one is the Artisan Crisp, a crisp pastry enroped in semi-sweet Belgian chocolate with Belgian white chocolate accents. Mm. 
This one's okay. Like a 7.5 out of 10. And the last one it says is Caramel Delight. You know what? I had the wrong one, the wrong thing. <laughs> the first one, this one, was the Caramel Delight. That's what I said was like 7 out of 10. This one is the Cocoa Crisp. Let's try that. That's like a 9 out of 10. Like it's close to a Kit Kat. I definitely think that anything they fill with just a little cracker or wafer or whatever the hell they call it, that one's okay. When they use the butter shortbread, definitely a better flavor, like the thicker cookies. But try yours out today. There's the key. Have a good day.